Hello and welcome. Today we're fishing troublesome water for Miracle. It's Hello and welcome here at another session of dynamic angling. Yes. Today we are here at the uh, Albacini Dam. Personally, it's one of the most uh, difficult dams to fish at. Um, and we normally experience that with the normal popcoy method. One struggle quite a lot due to a lot of small fish, oh, uh, especially small bream yeah. uh, that keep on uh, basically just uh, finish the, the bait. bait yeah Stealing just taking the bait. yeah and and that make it very difficult and i think a second key point of which makes this a difficult dam is due to the fact that the water is extremely deep over here and the bank that you can angle or fish at is extremely limited so there's not really too much space to vary so it makes it a little bit hard so mm. sometimes you're forced to fish in water eight nine meters which is extremely difficult. If you take a look at the area that we are going to fish at, um, it mainly consists of uh, a shallower part uh, of around about three to four meters on, on the one side and then quite uh, uh, close to the center. Yeah. There is like a big drop off. It's, yeah, it's the actually old the old bed. river bed, yeah, exactly. which, which is there, which is yeah. quite deep, about eight meters, nine meters deep. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, at a distance of 80 or uh, 80 meters, you'll find uh, another shallower area yeah, shallow. around about yeah. four meters, five meters deep. And uh, today we are going to use our papkhoi and we are going to target firstly uh, at a distance of about 50 to 60 meters and, uh, and, and cover that area oh, and yeah. then we are also going to, to try to, to reach uh, a distance of about 80 to 100 meters. Yeah, basically uh, targeting the shallower water. On yes, on the, on the other yeah. side of this yeah. big drop off, yeah. uh, the old river bed. Yeah, exactly. And then I think we're going to also take our specie or our hair rigs and put it um, actually in that deep drop off in the old river bed yeah basically the idea is just to cover all of the different areas so we have one shallower part one deeper part and one shallower part and because this dam is so difficult to fish at yeah. you can't just say okay let's fish at spot a or spot b or spot c because you don't actually know where the fish might be so our idea is basically to cover the whole area and hopefully by doing so we might get one fish yeah and and when you observe the area especially early in the morning mm. and then also late afternoon yeah. you will find that uh, extremely big mirror carp is yeah. actually uh, scattered around, scattered around yeah. there you can actually see them on the surface yeah. of the water yeah, i think that's actually a very good point because yeah. if, usually if you can see the fish jump and yeah they usually tend to jump on the opposite side of the bank closer yes. to the shallower part yeah that's an extremely good place to put your baits in but i think if you don't have a boat or something you're, you'll be you'll struggle a little bit more so yeah. just try your luck cover the whole area and see what works best yeah and then uh, there might be another point uh, uh, this area mm. uh, uh, one must not just uh, easily just take it for granted to say i'm going to use my canoe to, to, yeah. to go and put my bait at a specific area. There are really uh, a lot of uh, crocodiles here, yeah, uh, and uh, those crocs are real be, uh, really big, and it's quite a, a dangerous situation. Yeah. So one must try to avoid that. If you do not have the correct equipment, yeah. uh, I think I, I will recommend yeah, to stay off the water. It. Yeah, don't just just cast, do yeah. casting, and 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 try uh, the, that method. Yeah. So now we're gonna. 
take some bait that we prepared and then we're gonna feed it with the um, spawn and hopefully we can get something decent. Okay, so we quickly want to make a feeding area by using our spawn. So the three baits that we are going to feed or the feed are actually some whole kernel millies and then some crushed milliform, which is a finer particle. And then lastly, we have some of these tiger nuts, which is an extremely nice feed uh, to get into the water. So let's do it. Ja. Hier nou in die boom dus. Hier sy hier niks sien nie. Als hy open, hier kom my denk. Ja, hier sy. Hier sy. Dan sy. Ok, so, we get into our first fish for the session. I think it is a catfish. We took a small gallon minky and hooked it. And hopefully there are a lot of weeds here. Hopefully we can get this fish out. It feels quite nice. Our first catfish for the session. It's about 8 o'clock now. The sun just went down. And finally got our, got our first fish. We put some carp rods in, but nothing happened yet. We've seen some decent carp on the surface, but unfortunately nothing yet. So hopefully during the night we'll get a carp run as well. And if we check here on the side of the mouth, you can actually see the small fish which I took here. And I took some cotton line and I rolled it up against the, the hook made a nice little bait and this guy was just a sucker for that bait <sighs> okay so we're gonna quickly take a look at how i make this bait or how i present it like this so basically i have a small tilapia over here and i have my cutting knife and i'm gonna take this tilapia and i'm just gonna cut it from top from its top and then I'm just gonna cut right through it splitting it open like a book getting all the guts and all the juices out and then when I'm cut about halfway through I'm just gonna take it flip it open like this you can see all the guts are exposed now this is extremely nice for catfish extremely nice scent and now I'm gonna leave this bait on here and I'm just gonna add this fresh bait over here like this. So now it adds to the whole package over here. And then I'm gonna take my cotton line and I'm just gonna wrap it up so it doesn't fall off. Basically the same way that you would put a sardine on your hook. Get a better working angle. You can see the hook fully exposed over there. All the guts, everything wrapped on here. Usually some people only use the head but I think if you do it like this if you can get a small fish gut it open or cut it open and use the guts like this okay. now when you're done just make a small knot in the end just like this fully exposed guts everything things gonna work again Okay, it's just 
30 minutes to 6 o'clock and finally after a long night our first specimen rig took off and hopefully we got a nice carp on here. Ah. Got him next hour, take it slowly. Mm, yeah. Well, this is only a six pound line, so I really need to take it slowly. Be careful with the fish. I'll let him have a I wonder if Johnny is now looking at us again. In this dam, there are some decent mirror carp in here. That's the whole reason why we came here to catch these beautiful mirror carps that are found in this dam. Yes, Paul. <laughs> yes. Yes, you want it's a nice one, eh? Ah, this is beautiful fish. Mm. So heavy. That's it. We finally got the Maracop out. It's just a beautiful, beautiful fish in perfect condition and I do think this might be my personal best definitely my personal best Miracop I'm extremely happy and grateful Yo, it's an absolute privilege to catch one of these carps congratulations that looks very nice uh, now I think we must try to weigh it yeah. and see what is the outcome of it 8.4 kgs very nice fish, fish. Well, let's get it back. Okay, it's uh, about 10 o'clock and uh, as we were just trying to reload uh, our rods, one of the species uh, rods uh, just took off and uh, it feels like a real decent carp. Uh, let's just hope that we will be able also to land this one. Uh, if I look at it, it's quite... Uh, a nice fish uh, it took the line quite strongly and uh, yeah let's just hope if we can battle it a bit maybe we will be successful to land it so this is actually my dad's first fish on a hairy congratulations dad ah <laughs> hopefully yeah, well. we can get it out <laughs> uh, we must first land it it's basically uh, a, a boiled tiger nut with a, a little bit of foam uh, but we never put a lead on it uh, actually this tiger nut the rig itself I think it could lift about 10 centimeters up I and think that's uh, also like a key factor yeah just taking it out of the salt and out of the grass yeah so and keeping it up making it, it, it it makes it a little bit more prominent I think yeah yeah definitely so uh, we must just be patient uh, the line is not that much uh, I think it's uh, about a uh, six pound line or eight pound line so we will just try to take it easy and try to land the fish hopefully we will be lucky Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh, 
Holy smokes. Oh. Well done. So caught on a on a tiger nut. Um, then we were very very lucky to land this one at the end. Uh, it's like uh, the one knot just managed to 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 hold up to the the last time frame when we at last landed it and then the lines basically snapped but uh, yeah we uh, you can see uh, it got a, a perfect set there in the side of the, the the mouth there it's a solid solid um, uh, set the hook set there and uh, you can see it take quite a lot of uh, pressure to or strength to, to to remove the hook. Yeah, it's a very nice uh, example of a it's a mirror carp and uh, uh, with the most beautiful colors and uh, a nice pattern of scales here at the top, close to the dorsal fin. Uh, yeah, it's quite a nice fish. It looks like five point. Something five kg. Yeah, just a five kg specimen. Hold on there. Okay. Now let's go and release it. Always try to take good care of your fish. Fish care is very important. Okay, so we reached our end of our session. It was a very enjoyable session. We caught two big carp actually on the Herrick and as well as two catfish. It was extremely enjoyable. And it was extremely difficult. The, these deep da deeper dams are, are quite a challenge yeah. to get the fish to start biting. We worked extremely hard, constantly putting in new feed, working, working straight through the night. And then luckily this morning, we caught our, caught our first carp and then just about two hours, two and a half hours later, yeah. later we caught yeah. a, a second carp. So I think it was actually very successful. It's not a bunch of fish, mm. but it's I think the quality of the fish that we caught is extremely nice. Yeah, and uh, and we realized that uh, with the pop koi we, we, we tried a lot, but the small fish continuously uh, yeah. give you a problem uh, uh, it, it's just always a problem the yeah. Yeah. eat and, the uh, bait up before you can get a bigger fish yeah and, and then at the end with the tiger nuts and the, the herrick uh, it is mm. uh, a, a, a much slower process but at the end uh, it, it, it produces two uh, quite nice uh, fishes yeah. um, 8,4 and also a 5 kilo yeah. and no, uh, I, I think uh, once you, you, you get hold of or you catch such a big fish then uh, uh, it become very uh, like a successful yeah, angling session yeah. or a trip yeah I usually, I usually feel like this if you catch like 10 small carps and you can only get one bigger carp I would always choose the, yeah. the bigger of the bunch so hopefully you can get quality over quantity that that's our trade-off in this session yeah so it was very enjoyable and thank you very much for this opportunity. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, now it's also time for us to go and relax a bit. Yeah, pack and up. Yeah, pack up and go back and, uh, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully very soon we will have a, another session maybe at a different venue.